Well, hello, Saddle Mountain parents. This is Paul Tai, your proud superintendent, and I want to go through some of our learning options. As you know, we are in crazy times right now, and we are planning for a very unique start to the school year. Um, at this point, the state has delayed in-person instruction until at least August 17th, and as with everything that is subject to change, we do believe that date could very well be extended and we're planning accordingly. So until in-person learning resumes, we do have two other options for student learning. One is called remote learning and the other is online. And so I want to talk a little bit about these so you have a better understanding. Of course, you uh, may check our website for details and documents that describe it further. And of course, contact me or your school's principal for details. With remote learning, it's going to be um, initially without in-person, but it will transition when we allow kids to come back or when we're able to bring kids back, the remote learning will continue for those of you that aren't comfortable sending your kids to school or if you have a need to be quarantined, your, your child needs to be home for a period of time based on CDC and Department of Health guidelines, you'll still be able to learn with your class in remote learning. So it will be uh, with our teachers, our curriculum, and in our classrooms. And it may look a little different at the start of the year when there's no kids in the classroom and teachers are uh, doing videos and other things online. But once kids are back, we'll have kids both physically present and remotely present at the same time. And I recognize that for, especially for our K-5 kiddos, they need a little help at home. So mom, dads, we're gonna need your help to help them be successful. This is not very easy for kids to be learning independently, especially at that young age, uh, especially for our little kindergartners. And we know you have uh, work schedules, so teachers will be recording those lessons and you'll have flexibility to be able to, to engage with your son or daughter with uh, your K-5 instruction. For our middle and high school kids, we're gonna follow class schedules, so they're in the school routine and they will be expected to be online at that time. We uh, will be using Google Classroom and um, uploading assignments and, and kids are already familiar with that. Teachers already use it even when we've had our traditional brick and mortar school year. And we'll still have grading like normal and um, you know there will be uh, flexibility once in-person starts because we recognize there are times when kids will not be able to physically come to school but can still be educated. Online learning is a little bit different. We're partnering with a third-party vendor to provide online services. Online is a full-year commitment. In other words, students can't just come in and out of online learning. It's really independent of our teachers and our curriculum. It's aligned with Arizona State Learning Standards. However, it's, uh, it's done very differently. And we've found, especially younger students, are not very successful online. We want to offer that as an option, but we're not really recommending it. I uh, want your kids to be successful and I don't want to set them up for a, an expectation that online learning is very simple and easy. It requires students to be self-disciplined, very organized, and, and rather self-sufficient. And it's not for every student. Even some of our top students who have done online learning in the past years have found it very challenging. So think very carefully about that because we won't have the same level of support as you will with remote learning for our, from our staff and, and, and our resources. So when in-person resumes, as I said before, um, the remote will, learning will be directly connected to in-person. We expect we'll have uh, a lot of kids, just from our surveys, have said you know, a lot of kids will come back in person, but some of you aren't ready for that and may not be ready for a while and we're gonna make it work. We're gonna accommodate that and we'll follow our regular four-day schedule with safety measures in place. We're gonna follow the county and, and state guidelines on that and they can change. Uh, but at this point, things like you know masks and personal protection, social distancing are things we're gonna have to require. And while that's in place, we'll uh, also be limiting some of the movement of kids so there's less opportunity for um, interchange, uh, whether it's in hallways and, and other things, try to move, limit the movement and uh, some of the groupings like assemblies and things like that just won't happen like they used to. So there's, there's definitely some things we're gonna have to do differently until we get through this pandemic. Now, if you've requested a Chromebook already, you'll be 
contacted for pickup and we've got a very organized uh, method for that and you'll get more information by email. If you have not signed up and you do need one, um, we encourage you to go to the website that's listed below and you can do so still. Um, the people that have already signed up, we'll get them first and if you uh, can get in there, the sooner the better so we can have it ready for you. There will be a $30 technology insurance fee in case the screens are broken or damaged to the, the Chromebooks. However, um, it will be just a deposit if you take the Chromebook for the beginning of the year and then um, come back when in-person learning starts. And we expect that will be a short term and at that time the uh, deposit will be refunded to you as long as the Chromebook is still in, in good condition operating as it was when you picked it up. So we're excited about the start of the school year. We know it'll be a challenge. We're offering great flexibility for our students and staff uh, and parents, but we, uh, we need your help and we know it, it won't be easy because we're getting all out of our comfort zone, but our staff is excited to, uh, to welcome your kids. Even if they can't hug them right now, they still look forward to seeing them soon. So let's have a great school year and let's stay healthy.